<laughs> Good morning, guys. We are here in Una Watuna Beach, one of my favorite beaches. Just for the name Una Watuna, it sounds so funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a place that I spend actually uh, all the quarantine, like all those two months. Yeah, so Christina's <laughs> an expert, so she's gonna show me her favorite coffee shops, her favorite restaurants, uh, what the beach is actually like. But to start off the day, we are gonna go scuba diving here at Submarine. But there's a ton of a ton of dive centers, but they're doing some special offer right now. So decided let's go for a dive. Let's see how it is. Yeah. So it's my first time. Oh, second time, <laughs> and I really feeling excited. Yeah. So first time since Trinko Mali. If you guys seen that video. All right. Let's hop in the water. Cool. Actually, let's get out of gear first. <laughs> let's hop in the water. So while Christina is doing her DSD stuff or Discover Scuba Dive stuff, decided just to walk over to town, maybe grab a coffee. Skinny Tom's Deli I've heard has really good snacks. So I'm gonna check it out, maybe grab a hopper or a coffee or whatever they have. Let's check it out. So it looks like they got some really nice brownies and shortbread and cakes as well. But since it's breakfast, I'm gonna skip this. I'll even know this looks nice and maybe mm -hmm. take away. But so we got some egg hoppers and a coffee. You know, if I lived closer, I would come here and, and just do some co-working because it's actually a really nice spot and they have outlets as well, which is nice. We got super fast internet too, like 45 up and down. And here's a garden area. And I thought I saw I don't know where he went now. He's gone. Oh, there it is. Little lizard. Oh my God, there's a giant one right there behind the scooter. How many guys can see him? There's a big one. Can you guys see his tail? Try to get a little bit closer. Oh my God, that's like a dinosaur. Right, so I picked up an Americano and some egg hoppers and I see Christina is actually in the water doing some basic skills. Let's take a look. So this is the boat we're gonna go on to go diving, but Christina is just here in like really shallow water, learning some basic skills. So I ordered three egg hoppers and I had no idea each of them would come in such a nice box with a portion of, I don't know, is this like potato curry, this ensemble. These are cheap. These are 150 rupees, which is like 80 cents each. Fantastic. Nice view too, million dollar view. Look at this guys, beautiful. Can't eat, wait to eat this.
was it? Not so much emotions for me it was like a lot of emotions yeah. that's because it's already was my second time so this time i was even more chill i could more like be on the one level and just enjoy this feeling so for me even like it didn't matter that if i see something like special for me it was like just to enjoy that feeling and it was feeling like you're astronaut somewhere in the space yeah. it's like in another world it's fantastic i agree so, so even though i've been diving over a thousand times now I still just enjoy getting in the water, so I'm really happy that Christina wanted to go diving because I probably wouldn't have went if it wasn't for her. Because you know the water is okay here; it's not like super clear. It's it's pretty nice, but it wasn't super clear. And then some cool fish. Like we saw some nice stuff. Yeah. You know, we saw uh, stonefish, yeah, very poisonous. So Looks like a rock. We saw that really beautiful. Uh, Lionfish, the little tiny one. Yeah, so so cute, so small. Do, do, you know, do you know the sign for lionfish? No. Put your hands together. Like this. Can we cross it? Yeah. Ah, yeah. And that's lionfish. <laughs> I can't do it with one hand. <laughs> uh, and we saw. Oh, yeah. we saw a bunch of like a uh, big. Uh, what is it? We saw one big pearfish and a bunch of like hump, hump head things. Like mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. you, you saw a bunch of bunch of like you saw them by, I don't know. Yeah, so anyway, there were so, some big fish, yeah. yes, colorful, bright. There's schools of fish. Actually, you know what? Diving salon is pretty good. Like, yeah. it's underrated. It, it's not like the best in the world I've ever seen, but it's pretty good and it's a good place to learn. And we're right on this beautiful beach. So, like, why, why wouldn't you, right? Yeah. So, now let's go get some uh, food and enjoy the rest of Una Wat Una. Yeah. Let's enjoy Una Wat Una. <laughs> <laughs> So now we're taking a look at the fishermen going out on their classic boats. Really beautiful place, guys. Una Tuna is probably one of the nicer beaches here in Toronto. But there's so many nice beaches here. It's hard to say which one's the best. Is that guy wearing a helmet while walking on the beach? I bet you he's Russian guy. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why, but all the Russians always say his helmet. <laughs> and like, it's so weird. Like, he's wearing his helmet while walking on the beach. Can you guys see this? It's like the motorcycle helmet. Hey, it's Tutti. Thanks, guys. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Oh, yeah. 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 As, as oh, okay. the excuse going up the nose. <laughs> 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 So, we just stopped back at Skinny Tom's uh, after uh, the dive for some food. And this looks amazing. <laughs> so much. So, we got some more hoppers. They were so earth delicious earlier. It's for you? No, one for you. But why? I don't want it. Okay, both for me. Okay. <laughs> Alright, that looks so good. We should get a burger too. Yeah, Christina also got one. Yeah. 
So I'm not charcoal because it's not nice for myself. Yeah, absorbs all the <laughs> nutrients, so guys. So I know it looked nice, but <laughs> this would probably be better for us. Okay. Let's see. <clears throat> all right, so we were planning actually on going somewhere else for lunch, but we ended up hanging out at Skinny Tom's because we ran into Paris and Ella. We hung out there for probably what, two, three hours? Yeah, like we didn't expect. Yeah, really good Our food. Our plan was just to have a cappuccino, a cup of coffee. And leave, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, but yeah, really nice. I mean, I, then actually we ran into that Russian girl too. I forgot her name. Yeah. That we met at yoga. yoga. But Uraachuna actually is kind of a happening spot. Like, I thought everybody lived in Ahagama, but yeah. I guess a lot of people come here to hang out or... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. During really high, nice, yeah. nice, beautiful place to come really here. Really nice. Mm -hmm. During high season, this is really packed. Yeah, but I'm right now, it's it's quiet. Like, look at this street. Like, it says that car. Like, not that. Like, and uh, the problem is a lot of things are shut. And this is the quietest probably you'll ever see in Ohio. Yeah, it's crazy. So like, really, it's December, it's season, and if you, uh, on the beach now, no people at all. It's beautiful beach with blue water. Yeah. And no people. Like. Wow. Last year it was like hundreds of people, hundreds of tourists. I know, and like I too guess, many actually, but now yeah. too little. Sorry guys. So I guess it's now like it's really like the most unique uh, experience which I don't think that we will ever like, experience again in the future. Yeah. Like really beautiful place, season, great weather, great ocean and no people at all. All the beach is just ours. It's fantastic. I feel bad. <laughs> yeah, it's from one side it's nice, but from another side it's really something unique. Yeah. Listen how quiet this is. And look at these places, like silver craft stores closed. This is a tour place, money exchange, I guess. Lim Valute. And V Tashin Ged. Mon Khan Walklach in Singna Penga Hach. And now, <laughs> can you read it? That's, uh, I don't know. But yeah, these are all closed. And then, also closed. What's it say? Uh, Vista of uh, Airport. Oh, okay. oh, right to the airport. Uh, like uh, meeting, uh, like we can meet you in, in the airport. Oh, okay. And then they transfer from a. Uh, okay. Yeah, so, all these are closed. <laughs> it's sad. Like, it's uh, everything. Like, little coffee shops, everything's shut. Like, I mean, there's a few things open, but it feels yeah. like you can feel it. Yeah, like, can't it? So what I think about all the situation is that, yeah, like, uh, all the world, like, suffering because, like, no tourism and in general economics, all this stuff. But, for example, I guess, like, people who, for example, live in Rome or Paris mm -hmm. or somewhere else, who really hate uh, like those tourists, those crowds of tourists in the center. They never can walk along the streets, like enjoy the streets. I understand that now they also can't like walk, walk in the streets and, and enjoy them because it's not, it's prohibited. But they still can enjoy like uh, that like silence mm. because I guess that very soon there will be again crowds uh, of tourists everywhere. And mm -hmm. now like yeah, it's, it's really sad that we have this economic situation. But at the same time, we can enjoy this unique feeling of silence and enjoying the place to the fullest. Mm -hmm. So there are some places open, like a good bar and restaurant, really beautiful, but nobody here. You can see they have this huge kind of big terrace on top. Normally, it would be packed. So there's this beautiful bird. It almost looks like a woodpecker or something or oh, the blue back do you guys see it oh my god it's gone it's gorgeous though it's nice seeing uh, family still hanging out and enjoying life here as normal so now this is the main part of Unawatuna. this is more yeah, kitab. Okay, almost. More product. More product. Let me see food. Yes. Nice. <laughs> this is a magazine. Melinda Enterprises. <laughs> Hello, hi, man. So there's definitely some things to open, but you can see most of the tourist shops are completely closed. There's a 
huge shame. Especially because this is December. This is the high, high season. Oh, yeah. Like December, January is the peak season for the South, for Una Tuna. Yeah. These places are normally like packed. Like every room would be packed. Yeah, <laughs> too many Russians. <laughs> Manoga. If man has no tea in him, he's incapable of understanding truth and beauty. Nice quote. Let's take a couple. <laughs> it's closed. So, Christina, do you think that's a real 7 Eleven? Small shop. I've uh, actually never been there, but uh, oh, it's closed. <laughs> it's so small. Okay, it's definitely a real 7 Eleven. <laughs> you gonna say hello? So, who's running? And this guy just crazy. Hi. 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 And I came back to the place where I spent around two months, I guess, during the curfew. So wow. Beautiful view. Yeah. yeah. So I was like renting just one room, but yeah. because there were no other tourists, like I could go everywhere in the house, and Rashan was like helping with the house. Oh, thank you, Stuti. <laughs> Let's take a look. Yeah. So this is Christina's old home before we met. <laughs> Beautiful colonial style building, really so nice. Ah, so yeah, it's really nice. A really beautiful place. Wow, well, you have this big TV. Yeah, so much. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's really nice. Uh, uh, this is nice. Uh, no, it's a house. Uh, my cousin is uh, dead. Uh, uh, ah, because now it's like a house. Uh, it was. Uh, I forgot. Oh my god, what's the name of the dog? Nala. Nala. Oh my god, you're so cute, your dog Nala. Oh, oh my Nala. god, you have me in here. <laughs> that is the question that she's here. So it's really so beautiful place. Like, wow, uh, this is really nice actually. Yeah. It has beautiful rooftop terrace. Uh -huh. And yeah, like, nice reading of them. Mm. Oh, memories. <laughs> <laughs> Today is clean. <laughs> uh, uh, Cleaning day. Cleaning day. So it was my room. Oh. Yeah, I really love this interior style. Okay. I feel like English ladies come to this nice Oh, nice balcony. Private mm -hmm. bathroom. Da 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 da. Curry leaves, which you oh, can nice. pick when you cook curry. <laughs> really nice. So this is where you stay for two months. Yeah. Oh, nice view of the, the rock as well. It's like green, yeah. And very close to the ocean. <laughs> Johnny, what are you doing? <laughs> we decided to place in the UFC on the uh, vacation. <laughs> oh, so funny. We decided to place in the UFC on the vacation. <laughs> I didn't expect this. <laughs> I was thinking just like to look around. <laughs> oh, so funny. Mm. So he's going to be Pop McGregor. I'm going to choose. Nice hollow one. Oh my god. 
So now Christina's gonna play. I was the Okay, Valentina. And I'm gonna choose. Who do you think? Has to be Ronda Rousey. Okay, let's do it. Doesn't matter, yeah. Yeah. All right. So Christina just started watching UFC not not long ago. I know I'm starting to play games. Oh my god, what's happening? Oh my god, stop it now! Get up, get up! Get up, get up! What happened, Christina? Oh, okay. I don't know. What happened? It was a good photo. Oh, it looks like you just got knocked out. I'm bleeding. I think it was bleeding. Oh. Oh, no. I didn't see him for long anyway. He's so rude, Johnny. You're a gentleman. Good job. You, you did well. hours later <laughs> it's a joke but uh, it seems like we are here stuck forever <laughs> uh, actually like maybe one hour mm -hmm. oh, yeah. oh my god <laughs> so spider <laughs> Oh. oh my god. I never thought I was gonna say that Christina's playing USC now. And she's actually pretty good. So for right now, just kidding. <laughs> Alright guys, if you see that it's dark now, it's because <laughs> we were there for what? Like two hours playing yeah, USC? <laughs> But even Christina played, she liked it. Yeah, so we, our first idea was just to come inside, like, first idea just to pass, then we saw Rashan. Yeah. And uh, I was thinking, okay, we will come for a few minutes. And then, like, two hours passed. Yeah. So, <laughs> Rashan, who was the best at UFC? <laughs> Johnny, no. no. No, I think Rashan beats all of us. Yeah, but he's had the most practice, so. Yeah. <laughs> How many hours have you played? Sorry. How many hours have you played UFC? I guess it's almost every day, yeah? No, not that day. Yeah, a lot. <laughs> Huge Okay, thank you for having us, yeah. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you. See you. So it's perfect. Our Tuk Tuk's here. This is the Blue Swan Inn. Very cool place. So if you guys want to check it out. And time to go home. Such a nice day, guys. But now it's time to go home. Yeah, I got a fuss, gonna be a rock star. Smoking like a rust, that I hit a city lost. No, the gold niggas gonna try and dig. Surrounded with this money and women. Yeah, I got a fuss.